this is a, a very complicated counting problem involving the blood arrangement formula. And what we're trying to do is, um, we really are trying to solve the second um, part of this problem, but we can't do that until we solve the first part. And that is um, figuring out how many ways we can arrange these letters given the condition that it starts with a lowercase letter and ends in a number. So we actually have to look at um, six different cases, but we can really break it into just two cases and then multiply by three. First case, it starts with an A. And if we start with an A and then ends with one, then we know we have an A here, we have a one here, and then we've got nine letters left inside to place. And so we place the nine letters in there. So using the letter arrangement formula, we know we're going to do nine factorial divided by the repeat. Well, since we started with an A, we only have two A's left, so we're going to have a two factorial. Then we have two capital C's and two dollar signs. And so that's the first case. But that only did it with a one, and so we need to multiply by three for the two, so we can count with a one, ends with a two, ends with a three, because they're all going to be the same. The second one is going to be starts with a B, and ends with a one. And this is going to be the same in the, in, in the fact that we still have the nine numbers left, but this time instead of having a B on the inside, we got three A's, and so instead of being two factorial, two factorial, two factorial, it's three factorial, two factorial, two factorial, because now there are three A's and we um, divide out by that. If we, and then multiply that by three. And so if we add these two together, we get the answer to the first question, which is um, 181,000. 440. You can use your calculator to go through and verify those calculations, but that is the total number of ways to do the top part. Now we have to use that information to do the bottom part, and it turns out that it is very challenging to try to do this in a straightforward manner. Uh, it's just hard to figure out where these guys are going to go. Um, it's possible um, to do that, uh, but it, it, and there's a couple ways you can go about it. But the much more efficient way to do it is to consider the um, cases when they are actually are together. And the way you can do that is, so for instance, in this case, you have these left letters and numbers and symbols left over. And instead of being nine things, we consider the two dollar signs together because we want to count how many ways they're together. And so now we're left with eight things, and so we're going to call that eight factorial. The dollar signs are considered together, so they can't repeat. So now your only repeats are eight um, A's and C's, and so instead of dividing by two factorial, two factorial, two factorial, like we did here, we just do it by two of them. And then we're going to multiply that by three. The next time thing we're going to do um, is for the second case, which starts with the B, it's going to be the exact same idea, except now in the denominator we're going to have three factorial, two factorial, we're going to multiply that by three. If you add these two together, you calculate what eight factorial divided by two factorial, two factorial times three, and add it to the other one, you end up with 40,320. So there are 40,320 ways that the two dollar signs are together. There are 181,440 ways, um, total ways to do it, so you just subtract those two, and that is your answer. One. 141,140.